Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to my stream. Um, I'll be playing Phasmophobia. And as the title says, I'll be going to be making beginner guides for Phasmophobia. Um, and this is going to be the very, very, very basic of the game. Uh, which means I'm also going to play with all these starter items and not all the extras. I am going to add quite a strong flashlight for myself, but that's about it. Um, because I, when I watch other streams, I notice that people have a lot of questions about specific items, specific uh, ghosts, or, you know, just general questions that people don't know. Um, and, yeah, I thought it might be a good idea to make, like, a very, very basic guide. Uh, so, if you're already, if you already know the game, this might not be the video for you. Um, you could just skip it. Uh, you can watch my other videos if you like. Um, as you can see, I'm 182. I'm not super, super experienced, but I know enough of the game to uh, you know, give you a small idea of what the game is about and how it works. Um, yeah, and this is also my first tutorial, my first beginner guide. So, if it's going to be a very bad one or it's, if it's going to suck, you know, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll be uploading this into YouTube. Um, so you can watch this back as well when you need to. Um, so let's get started. Uh, first of all, what I want to do is... Um, I'm not sure how many people have one, but I use a standalone microphone, the Blue Yeti. Uh, and when I bought this one, um, my microphone in-game was not working. As you can see, I'll go to my options, audio. Um, it says here at the Yeti X, uh, Yeti 10, whatever you want to call it. Um, and obviously you have, when, when you're playing in public games, you have the, the buttons you can use to talk to your teammates. Um, and that worked perfectly for me. But for some reason, if you go to voice recognition, this did not work for me. Um, so my microphone was being picked up by the game. So I can talk to my teammates, but um, you know when I say give us a sign, give us a sign. There you go. We heard you. Uh, when I got the microphone and I plugged it in, this did not work for me. So the game recognized my microphone for in-game uh, chat, basically, but it did not pick up here. And this is important because if this not doesn't work. Uh, the game has a really hard time picking up your voice when you use the spirit box and the Ouija board and also your in-game voice. If you play solo games, your microphone is always active during hunts, but you know, you don't have, to, there's no push to talk, it's always active. Uh, but if this doesn't work, uh, during hunts that's safe because the ghost won't be able to hear you because your microphone is not being detected. Uh, but you know, you cannot, you know, give us a sign in the game has a chance the ghost to give you a sign or make a sound but if this not if this doesn't work he will never hear you you will never this will never be activated also the Ouija board won't work the spirit box might sometimes work but it's very glitchy um, I'm gonna post a link in the description of this video um, because it took me a long time to fix this uh, there's a whole step um, published by the uh, by the game developers of what what you could do to fix this. Uh, there's a lot of steps. Um, if this doesn't work for you, do that because it helps you and it also makes the game a lot better. In my opinion. I mean, you know, technically, <laughs> if you're safe during a hunt because your microphone doesn't work, it's good, but you know, you're not experiencing the full game. So make sure that works. Um, other than that, you know, settings is still, doesn't matter. Uh, I'm not going to go over the settings now. I just wanted to say that is very important because that'll, that'll make sure that your game experience is the best and most optimal. Uh, so once again, I am going to play a solo game. And I'll be explaining most of the basic things. Uh, that's why I'm only using the beginner items. This is what you have when you're level 1. All the other items that you are going to buy, you don't have money for yet. Um, as I said, I am going to add one strong flashlight because, you know, why the hell not? Um, 
something that, this is also the first thing you should buy if you have money because the the, the flashlight is pretty weak um let's pick um i got a rich view i am going to play professional because that'll give you um a proper view of the game as well and amateur is just too easy for me at least i mean i always play professional um amateur basically means you have five minutes before a ghost can actually hunt you so you have five minutes to do whatever i could actually do it but um uh, actually we can just do one amateur game you know so i have more time to explain stuff without being hunted um amateur yeah, well, as i said it makes you safe for the first five minutes of the game there's a timer in the van Actually, I can show you right now. Um, I'm going to go in the game right now. Uh, as I said, the first five minutes, you're safe. In Intermediate, it's two minutes. And in Professional, it's... Uh, no, no, there's no timer. The timer's gone. I'll show you when, right, when we get to the van. In a second here. Actually, I realized that I did not share my screen of the game. Hold on. I'm gonna go back. As I said, this game, this tutorial could suck. So I'm gonna show you again what I was saying about the microphone. Uh, it's this one. Um, this one is your microphone settings. Go to test and you say give us a sign. Give us a sign. There we go. If this works, you're good. If this doesn't work, if you just keep spamming, give us a sign and it doesn't pick up, go to that uh, the link in the description um, and fix your microphone because that that's something you need. Uh, okay, so we are going back. Single player. I'm going to start over. Uh, at one strong flashlight. Oh, no, 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 no. Always a good point. Yes. You know, it helps if you, you know, if you make a tutorial and you actually share your screen uh, if you want to show stuff. Right. So, yeah, let's go get it. Uh, we're going into a amateur game. Basic starter items, which you get level one, except one flashlight because it just makes it a little more better to show you the game because the, the standard flashlight is very weak. So, let's go. Let's see what we have. Also, it's gonna say stuff. I, you could listen to that. Okay, sometimes. Oh, there you go. Nothing else? No. Sometimes the, the radio says useful information. Um, for example, sometimes it says that it's known for turning on lights, which means that if you turn on the breaker, uh, there's always a breaker in the game that makes sure that all the lights are on, all the electricity is in us. Uh, that's also the first thing you need to go to. Um, because if it does say in the start from the radio that it could turn on lights, you could just turn on the breaker, and then if you're lucky, it will turn on a light and you know where the ghost is. Uh, because the ghost is always in one specific room or hallway or whatever. Uh, so you pick up the key, uh, flashlight. Uh, what I always bring is a camera and the EMF reader. So um, the objectives you have in the game are right here. Obviously, you need to gather the evidences in your uh, in your book to know what ghost it is. Makes sense. Uh, I'm not gonna do full full games because uh, I only have like one camera so the photos are not going to work anyway I'll make another video about uh, photos as well later uh, I'm just going to cover the basics here uh, motion sensor something we don't have at the moment uh, and there you go that's why you always bring a camera capture a photo of the ghost the ghost will show up every now and then um, you know as a ghost event um, and if you don't have a camera with you at that moment to take a photo, you're gonna hate yourself because it doesn't always show. It's not that often that it shows itself. 
Now, uh, this text here is not very, very useful in solo games. The name is could be useful, James Jackson, because if you if you yell at its name, it could you know you could anger it. Um, and this text here, this goes also, also seems to be only respond to people who are alone. This is usually that's only a, uh, um, uh, applies to like public games. For example, if you're in a room and you're trying the spirit box where you're gonna talk to a ghost. It's not going to respond if there's, you know, in this case, it responds to when you're alone. Um, but if you're with the four people in that room, it's not going to respond to the spirit box because, as it says, it only responds to people who are alone. So, you could read this. It's not very useful, but it could be. Alright. So, first thing you do is you find the ghost room. Um, what is important? Oh, I forgot to show you something. This is the timer I was talking about. So in amateur, you have five minutes before the ghost does a hunt. Um, in, in intermediate, it's two minutes. In professional, it's zero. Uh, this doesn't mean that when this time is over, it's going to hunt instantly. The hunt is based on your sanity. Um, in public game, it's based on your average sanity. So if one guy is at zero sanity and one guy is at 100%, the average is 50%. And 50% is the, um, the point where ghosts start hunting. Depending on the ghost, because there are a few ghosts that hunt early. Uh, Demon is one, Mare is one, and uh, Goryo is one. Uh, if I remember correctly, these ghosts can hunt you. Oh, Yokai, sorry, Yokai, Yokai, Demon, Mare. Those are the three ghosts that are hunt that are hunting. They could hunt sooner. I think Demon is at sixty. Uh, no, seventy. Um, eighty. And Amaris, depending, Amaris, uh, very based on light. Uh, I'll show you. If you go to Ghost, you go to Mare. Uh, Amaris will increase the chance to attack in the dark. So if the lights are off, it has a chance to hunt you at 60% sanity. But if the lights are on, it's slower. It's 50. So if you're at 50, you, you know, you, there could be a chance to get hunted. Um, as this timer is running out, obviously. So right now, I'm going to in the house, and the timer starts as soon as I open the door. Now, as I said, in solo games, um, it will always pick up your voice. So you could, when I'm going to talk, it's gonna hear everything I say. So this ghost is gonna, is gonna know the beginner guide. It's gonna hear us. It's gonna hear us talk um, throughout the game, um, which also means that. You could anger, or you could just ask it, like give us a sign, as I said in the start. Um, stuff like that will make it do something. Not always; it's not a guarantee. I think there's like a 25% chance of it actually doing something if you're close to it. A ghost will wander to the house; you won't see it. It's like an invisible. It's like in stealth mode, walking around uh, near the room it is in, uh, and we need to find that room. Um, but yeah, there's like a. Uh, if you keep asking, you know, give me a sign. You could knock on a on a window. It could open a door. It could turn on a light, etc. Et so let's go and find this ghost. Uh, as I said, you could always first go for the breaker. Um, I checked that, and it was here. It's already on. Okay. So in amateur, I forgot. In amateur, it's already on. Start. In professional, it's off standard. So you. Could we could just turn off lights. Uh, on lights, I mean. Um, I think actually in amateur it's also really difficult to find a ghost because it's not very active. Uh, the reason why you could turn on lights is because when you're in the light, your sanity does not drop. It only drops when you're in the dark. Even if you have a flashlight. So it will always drop. I'm gonna make sure that um, I just stay in the dark a little bit because you know if it's in the light it might not respond to you or it might you know we're just gonna play the game as it should be so what I'm doing right now is I'm scouting the house um, just walking around I just could say like give us a sign can you give us a sign can you do something? 
Where are you? Alright, so I found a bone. In every house, there's a bone. It's also an objective, and you get money from this. Um, as I said, I'm gonna explain later uh, how photos work, but if you find a bone, don't pick it up yet. You can pick it up, but don't pick it up yet. Make a photo first. If you don't have a camera, go back to the van and take a photo. I'm gonna take a photo, pick it up, get some money. It's like an extra objective, like a, a bonus objective. Can you give us a sign? All right, you heard that? I heard something upstairs, like something dropping. So I am going upstairs to see if I can find an item that's been thrown around. That's very important in this game. You need to listen very carefully. Uh, small noises, small sounds, you need to pick them up to find the ghost. Can you give us a sign? Give us a sign. Oh, there we go. So, um, obviously it's something you need to learn, but, you know, generally speaking, things are not lying on the floor like this. So we are for sure that the ghost is here. It actually threw something again. What did it throw? I can't find it. Um, the reason why I'm holding my EMF reader is because if it does throw something, the EMF reader is going to pick it up and it's going to give us a signal. Give us a sign. Do something. Okay, so I'm not gonna respond yet. Um, another reason, oh, it threw this, okay. So it's walking around. Maybe it threw something here as well. No. Another reason why you walk around, uh, first of all, you need to find the room where the ghost is in, which we just did, because there are so many items thrown around in that room that it has to be there. Um, to find the bone, you know, as an extra, as an extra objective, and to uh, find the Ouija board, which also you can take a photo, you can ask it questions, and you can ask it where, what its favorite room is to make it easier to find it. Can you give us a sign? Can you do something? Can you show yourself? Give us a sign. What's the name? Um, James Jackson. James Jackson, give us a sign. Do something. All right, do something. See? It will give you EMF. It always do this. Always. Um, if it's EMF 5, which is the red one. There we go. And that's why you need your camera. I actually already know what ghost this is, and I'll explain that later. Because this ghost instantly disappeared. And when it's the photo, it's not even on the photo. Uh, so that's a phantom. Um, taking a photo of the phantom will make it temporarily disappear. Well, it disappeared instantly. So, but you know, that's the that's things you need to learn, that's not more advanced. Um, the reason why I knew it, sometimes ghosts just show up one second and then disappear again. Um, but this one kept making sound, so I know it disappeared from the photo. Anyway, uh, we're just gonna go back to the basics, we're not gonna um, go into the advanced mode options and and, and, and knowledge. Um, so now we found a room. We actually have a photo, that's awesome, which means that you have one objective done. Uh, right now, I know it's in this room, so I need all the evidences that we have in the car, in the truck, and we need to, to, we need to bring them here. So I'm gonna drop everything. I am going to drop my flashlight. You don't have to do this, because as you can see, it's super dark. Um, the reason is why I do this is you only have three hands, or you can have three items in your hand. We know it's there. It's not gonna hunt us yet. We're safe. Um, and having the extra item in our hands is, you know, it's good. You can just bring your flashlight if you don't want. So look, our certainty is 80%. Um, timer's over. But it's not gonna hunt us yet. It's gonna take a long time before it hunts us. We turn on the light in the hallway. Uh, 
we could actually turn it up um, upstairs as well. So now we need to know uh, what it go what goes to this. We found the room. We found the bone. There's no Ouija board. We could check the entire building. So we're gonna bring in evidence. It doesn't really matter which one you have. Um, I prefer to have the writing book, as so I just picked one up. Um, the the dots and the camera. Well, one reason why I take the camera is because you know if you drop your flashlight, you can use this as a temporal light. You can see, you can still see pretty well. Um, unless you turn on the lights, I am going to do so. All right, so um, camera. We already have the EMF. If it does something in this room, um, and you walk through that, you know, like it did something with this, you go there with your EMF reader. If it's just five, you have the EMF five. Um, I'm holding the camera right now to see if we find dots. Dots are like very small light orbs flying around. I'm gonna check this room. Maybe it's here. I don't think so. Um, I don't have them right now. I don't see any light bulbs flying around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this camera. I'm gonna put it not there. I'm gonna place it here. All right. Now I have my hands empty. One M. So pick up my flashlight. I'm gonna drop a book, and I'm gonna drop the dot next to it. So I know it's a phantom. So I know that I have to be looking for spirit box, fingerprints, and dots. Um, dots you can see by like your. You can see it just like by looking at it, but the camera will actually reveal them properly. So what you could do, we set up the camera and we put in the dots projector in front of the camera. Um, and I'll show you why that is useful, because if you go back to the truck, you can watch your camera from the truck and you're completely safe. There we go. Um, you have to turn off the UV, uh, you turn on the UV light or turn light modus, which is this one. And we should be seeing dots, which is like a silhouette going through the, the dots projector back and forth. It doesn't always happen, which means that you need to stare, you know, you have a staring contest with the screen, to see it happen. I am almost positive we're going to have it sooner or later. Um, but it's not there yet. No worries. Chucker Sanity, it's dropping a little bit. Now we're going to bring in a spirit box and the UV light. Check the camera again, maybe we see dots. I don't think we do. This is also a lot easier in smaller rooms. Like this is a pretty big room. Uh, oh, there we go. You see that? That's dots. If you get that, you have dots. So that's our first evidence we have. Dots. And now we're going to go back. Um, and we're going to check the spirit box. As I said, if you don't have a, uh, your microphone set up, this is not going to work. It's not going to do anything. It also doesn't work in light room. So if the lights are on, it's not going to work. I'll show you. So we're going to turn on the light and we're going to talk to it. How old are you? Where are you? Are you here? See, it's not going to work. But if we turn on the light, where are you? There you go. So we got a response. This only works in the ghost room in the dark. And as I said, uh, if you're in a public game, um, and it's, and it's and the whiteboard and the truck says it only responds to you when you're alone. You need to be alone in the room. As scary as that sounds, you have to. Otherwise, it's not gonna respond to you. If there's like four people here and it's a shy ghost, it's not gonna do anything. So we got that, and uh, we brought in the UV light to check for fingerprints. And there we go. We have fingerprints. So, as I was saying, it's a phantom. Now you have that objective done which is one of the four objectives. Uh, basically, that is it. Um, 
you can make photos of the fingerprints. Let's see if there's a more. Uh, because if you take photos like this, you get money. Let's see if there's anything else touched. We could actually try and anger it or make it do something. Give us a sign. Do something. Show yourself. Give us a sign. Give us a sign. Give us a sign. All right, it's not gonna do anything. So basically, what I just did um, is why we found the room. We found the bone. As you can see, I took a photo of it. The bone. Uh, we found, and we, you know, we found the room, and then we put on all the evidences. We just go back and forth to the truck, drop all your evidences here. Obviously, I have objectives. Uh, those need to blow out a candle, uh, motion sensor. Uh, next. Next tutorial, I'm going to show you a game with all the items, and uh, we're going to do all the objectives as well. Uh, the more objectives you do, the more money you get. That's it. Also, same goes for the photos. The more good photos you get, the more money you get, which is you know important because if you die, you lose all your items, uh, and you need to buy all the items again, which also means you don't have, you know you don't need to die. And uh, you know, you need to, there's so many items that you need to buy. So anyway, uh, it's not going to do anything. Uh, I'm going to check quickly if it touched something. It only touched this door, which is kind of a shame. Uh, fingerprints is only going to show up on these kind of doors. Um, there's doors here as well, but it doesn't, it doesn't show fingerprints on... Uh, it's super active now. It's throwing stuff around. On light switches, on windows, um, did I forget something? No, I think that's it. So if it touched like one of these things or that, it doesn't show fingerprints. Um, did I forget something about the basic item? I don't think so. Um, the problem with fingerprints is, like in this room, I saw dots again. You can see with your blind eye as well. Uh, or which are, uh, whatever you call it, without the camera. Uh, if it's in this room, there's only two things you could touch for fingerprints. It's this one or this one at uh, the door. Sometimes there's rooms. Um, can I find one? Um, I think. Sometimes there's rooms without all of these. Oh, there you go. Touch the light. So there should be fingerprints on here, right? No? That's odd. I touched the light switch. Hmm. It should have fingerprints on it. All right, doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, sometimes there's a room, uh, like there's another, um, another house where there's the attic, uh, there's no doors, there's no light switch. It will not touch anything, which is super annoying. Um, it actually turned off the breaker, I think. Yeah, so now I turn off the breaker, all lights are off. You have to go all the way back in the room, touch the breaker. Fingerprints will not show up on the breaker either. Um, yeah, that's it. So. As I said, all these objectives I can't do. Um, make sure that when you leave, you have the ghost field in here. Um, to get the objective. Uh, so this is done when you, obviously when you leave the game because you're not, you know, you could just pick it and if it shows here, then you already know what it is, but that's what you want to avoid. Uh, we can't do these two. We took a photo, which is also, again, very important to bring a camera and your first uh, your first look around. Um, yeah, that's it. We still have high sanity. It's not gonna hunt us anytime soon. Mm, we took some photos. As I said, if you can make, or you can make 10 photos in total. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And as you can see, they are all ranked with stars. 
which means that um, I'll, I'll show you actually. If you take a photo like this, like you know, uh, take, oh, you can take photos in the truck. If you're uh, making a photo, it will instantly upload it to your photo book. And this is not going to give you any money because there's no stars. You need two or three stars to get money from photos. So that means don't make weird photos. Make sure your photos are legit uh, and that they are connected to uh, fingerprints doesn't really show here, but you know it counts. Or a bone, or a ghost, or a ghost event, or you know, it needs to be related to a ghost. But I'll go into more depth in another video about photos. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. We found the ghost pretty quickly. Oh, actually, I actually already found it in the first second, but that's it. Um, let's go. There you go, Phantom. I uh, got interrupted by my son. He uh, seems thirsty. Uh, so yeah, as I said, the objective. Uh, I found the ghost. Didn't do the other objectives. I got the camera, the photo of the ghost. Found the bone. It's only ten dollars, but it's money. Um, that's it. That's uh, generally how you play the game. That's really the general information you need. To find ghosts and to get the objective done. Um, that's how you play the game. Um, obviously, this is amateur. It's not very active. It's not very dangerous. Uh, next game, I'll be playing it in uh, professional, so you get the full, the full experience. Um, because that's, I think, that's your full experience. Um, as I said, in amateur, it takes you five minutes before the ghost can actually do something. Uh, the hunts are very uh, short. Uh, I think it's twice the length in, in professional. Uh, I'll go into more depth in um, about hunts in another another video as well. Also with the cameras, I'll make another video about that. Uh, but this is it for the basic information. Um, yeah, if you have any questions or if you have any tips about this video, Just let me know in the description. I'll answer them. I'll read all this. I'll, I'll, I'll read everything. Um, and yeah, I'll be making more videos like this. So, you know, if you like this video, just give it a thumbs up. Um, I'm actually going to go FK because my son, you might hear, he's in my room. I need to put him to bed. Uh, so I'm going to go to a, for a quick break. Um, but as I am going to put this on YouTube, uh, I'm going to do the thank you for watching. Um, if you'd like if you did subscribe to my channel um, subscribe to my twitch i am going to be right back with another video um, but i first need to take my son to bed one guy one sec guys bye bye